Welcome everyone to the start of a new storyline with WWE 2K18. T refused to spot because he, he didn't mm. want to be part of this petty dick measuring contest between me, Jover, and Pedro. Uh, who, wait. Oh, nice. Wait, who said anything about this being a petty dick measuring contest? What are you roping us into, Dwibs? He, he, he did. Um, basically, um, basically the story is, um, me and Pedro have gotten fed up of Jova's ineptitude as, as leader of this commentary group, so we decided to enter a match where we would not only put the square championship on the line, but the winner gets overall control of the group. You're gonna win this one, aren't you? I win by default because I'm not getting involved in these petty arguments. So, yeah. And I win by default because the real me doesn't get into them either. And I've got a new theme song! Nice. Also, Apollo looks different. <laughs> yeah, Apollo Apollo got a British accent and he's a bit fatter. And he's missing his spikes. So much on the line. Although I wonder, guys, does he look as good as he does in We Love Golf? No, seriously, he was actually in We Love Golf Wait, wait, there's, there's an American flag in the background, and yet we're in Birmingham, England. Don't you see, George? People always bring, like, their country's flags to events if they've traveled, you know. Besides, it's all, it, it's all part of the plan. See, because UK was stupid with the whole Brexit thing, they're eventually going to become a state of USA. Oh, and Jovi, you've got a new entrance song too. Whatever that is. Very blue. I love how Dwibs's was all regal and stuff, and the mine's like from down in the da... Uh, downtown. <laughs> well, you are from downtown, aren't you? Actually, I'm from the suburbs, but I digress. Fair enough. Close enough. New York! Yeah. And yes, you got my city right. Good. Yeah, um, unfortunately, after WWE 2K17, I lost the championship. Um, because, uh, be, 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 because Jova, um, jo Jova, Jova used his, um, leader powers. He, he couldn't put the title on himself, but he, um, stripped me of it. Why he didn't do that during the playthrough, I don't know. Because I'm not corrupt. Really? <laughs> it's simple, Twibs. You obviously had the unfair advantage, so I waited until after things went through to see to it that justice jo was served. Jova, you went mental and attacked a referee. Oh, and Pedro's got a new look. I've heard this song before. It, this was Pedro's theme, and yeah, unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately for Pedro, um, while I had the budget to replace his outfit, I couldn't replace his um, theme song. And apparently, couldn't get him a tope. He seems to be more balding than but, he but was last time. But look at the back time. of his shirt, though. Well, hmm. when it, when it, when you get more vision. What about you, Byron? He looks good physically, but do you think he's Dwib mentally sucks? prepared for tonight's match? <laughs> <laughs> but look, emotion. Ha. Basically, uh, Pedro has become a hardcore David Cage cosplayer. Of course he has. Probably the only one, but still. So, ask, will we ever see a return of the David Cage drinking game? Probably never, because it's too dangerous. People will cosplay YouTubers. I'm pretty sure people will cosplay David Cage. Mm. Oh, and, um, yeah. Uh, notice the squirmerine looks a bit different. See, the thing I, is, I, I, toned I toned down on the squirminess and made it more, uh, plain. Yes, Pedro? See, the thing is, Jova, the problem is that ever since that the, the live announcement of Detroit... <laughs> He stopped showing up in public altogether. That's the yeah. thing. So, I, I, see, the thing is, Jova, back in 2013, when the emotion meme was born, I'm guessing he realized that nobody takes him seriously anymore, so he just decided to stop showing up. I love how at the PlayStation event last year, the same thing happened again where people fell asleep at the Sony talk when they were talking about... Uh... Yeah, Yoshi, the, the president of Sony World Entertainment. Uh, Yoshida literally fell asleep during the <laughs> 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 so, so, And then Dwibs um, ended up falling asleep during the talk about Detroit. <laughs> so basically, yeah, I'm playing as myself. No change there, then. So you're gonna win. We'll find out. Really from a forceful shove there. 
It's a 60 frames per second heel slam. So, um, was, um, during the brief hiatus we had in between 2K17 and 2K18, um, proved to knowledge. Eh? Mm, uh, why did you pause? I was cold, I think. Oh, oh no, no, I had to, I had to turn something on. The options. Bang! Bailey, we got brand new commentators. Doing some more damage here. <laughs> wow, so. you just uh, nutted Pedro with a baseball bat. It's no disqualification. Oh, and it's also an elimination match. Basically, if you pin an opponent or make them submit, they are eliminated from the match. Yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. Hence why Jover isn't going to break up the pin. Also, also the ribs. Not for nothing, but you're starting to get repetitive uh, with your wrestling storyline. It's always this conflict between us because of the control of the channel. Come on, be yeah. more creative. Yeah, but hey, there's one thing Jova's picked up. Jova's picked up a habit of celebrating too soon and someone just interrupting him. Isn't that also what was in the original too? Uh, no, I don't think so. That's a new story. You guys fighting over what the story should be. You there see, yeah, okay, 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 dudes. <laughs> at some point, we gotta do the older WWE games that allow for cross fighting. Oh, that. Because uh, then I'll, I'll oh, I've, I've, I've got a, I've got a couple. Because then we can I'm actually include Shuroyan on the mix. Like, there's even a whole video games uh, wrestling storyline that has iconic video game characters modded in, and there's a whole storyline like, like um, let's see. Apparently, Crash Bandicoot was champion for like a period of time. Phoenix Wright is actually the current WWE champion. Go figure. And uh, yeah, it's fun. Look Basically, at my though, body. I never understood why they got rid of the whole men can fight girls feature in the later games. Although in recent, recently in real life WWE, they've been having more intergender matches. Not a lot more, but a bit more. Uh, it's, it's, it's to appease uh, the SJW culture, most likely. That wouldn't make any sense, though. I mean, if anything, they'd be arguing that a woman can fight a man. That's what I'm saying. That's why they have intergender matches. So uh, Pedro, no, no, I'm talking about the game, Pedro. The Pedro, video game. Not for, oh. not for nothing, but you really need to mind your surroundings. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh. it, it, it's from one of his favorite movies, Batman Begins. Besides, besides Pedro, you're wearing glasses. Your vision should be perfect. Uh, you don't know anything about glasses, do you? No. Oh, oh, that's a different move. Uh, Jova, stop bragging. What have I told you? I don't know, you programmed me to be that way, like in the Overlord anime. Boy, Paige is looking a little worse for wear over there. Well, Jova's not all that much better. Yeah, because Dwibs loves to put on a good show with that stuff. Ow. You deserve that. Um, and, by, and by that I mean WWK, you deserve that. Yeah. Oh. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Also, yeah, um, I'll be honest. Um, m m real life WWE now has those um, little yeah, graphics on true. even the ring posts. I'm not sure how I feel about that, if I'm honest. What's the point of them? Yeah, uh, Jova, again, I told you, no bragging. If at first you don't succeed, <laughs> try again. This is what... A new part of it. This, this is something new for this game. Jova learning nothing. Well, I gotta say though, Paige has got quite the perseverance for someone whose body is hurt and head is hurt. Oh, oh but Joe, Paige is in a submission, and there's no rope break. Do I have this? Everybody, pretty much, even even Jova here acknowledged that I'm probably the most pres yeah, that probably has the most perseverance in this entire group because of, because of the. The amount of stuff I get, I get from all of us. Dude. What is it with you two? Your horrible, uh, uh, your horrible lack of perception. Hey, stick with what's working for you, right? He's making a statement here with this attack. 
few superstars. He's going for the pin. This oh, one job here. About to two, lose because of you. Three. There you go. No, it's, it's an elimination match. Oh yeah, right. right. Sorry. So now it's just me versus Jova. Triple threat Gee, comes, I right. wonder who's going to win. Ow. Come on, get back here. Oh, oh, oh shit, no! No! Ow! Oh my god! No! 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 Yes. No. I, I lost! That'll show you! That'll show you! I'm actually shocked I won, but that'll show you! <laughs> and now Joe maintains control of the group and is now the champion. And now peace can forever stay reign now that the tyrannical dweeb will hopefully settle down now. <laughs> I have restored peace to the nation! You may now no longer fear the provocativeness of the Harley Clan! Okay. okay. <laughs> well, well, at least that solved that little dispute. Now, how are the Phillips doing? So, no, not to fear the Harley clan. Does, it, does this mean that we're never going to have to see Harley molest a fairy ever again? Wait, uh, what? <laughs> so Joe took his first title. That's a rough joke, Shiro. Right, the rest of the rest of us. Their thoughts now turn to conquering WWE by taking out their past and present superstars. So, how does Shiro start, play into this? We start with Pedro ready to take on his challenge. Oh, goody. Uh, Pedro first. I think... Yeah. Oh, oh god, I'm in Paris, Paris friends. Pedro, are you dressing as David Cage and we're in Paris? He's gonna Dang. take on David Cage, isn't he? Yeah, are you 5 foot 10 in real life? No. How tall are you? Uh, actually, it's been a while since I last met her myself. I'll have... Let me guess. I'm very I'll... short. Let me guess, you're very <laughs> tall, aren't you, Pedro? You're like 6 uh, foot 7. I'm re I'm, I'm, no, I'm regular size, really. Uh. I'm 6 foot 1. You're right, how tall are you? I'm 5'3. <laughs> oh. Hey, I got your height right. Um, oh, great. <laughs> and let's see. Okay, uh, look at the back of your shirt. <laughs> I'm 5. What does it say this time? Yeah. Emotion. And I'm 5'10. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I won't be so sorry. I I'm not, that's the thing, Dwebs. I'm honestly surprised David Cage has ever right. used the, an I'm emotion to show it. Yeah. In fact, it's what, gonna be David Cage. What, wasn't Jim Sterling at a wrestling oh. match, too? Wouldn't it make more sense for oh, it to be someone? Who your opponent is? Let's uh, see. Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle. Really, yeah. Dwebs? <laughs> Literally, who? I like Kurt Angle. Suck. Why do you put me against him? You suck. Why do you hate Kurt Angle? You suck. No, I don't hate Kurt Angle. I like, I, I like Kurt Angle. I'm talking to Dwebs. No, no, no. Basically, ever since 2002, people chatted you suck at Kurt Angle as a joke. Uh, but ba basically, Jova, it's um. Is he a face or a heel? Uh, well, he's a, he's a thing, Jova. What happened was he became a heel for. It was a heel heel for a long time, and fans started uh, a you chant. Um, you suck uh, chant. Uh, sorry, a you suck chant. WWE embraced it by literally creating a theme song. That uh, that literally kind of sounds like the song is literally saying you suck, like like da da, as in you suck. It's always that was always the thing. Fans. Just... Oh yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, you're right. The, so is he like an icon nowadays? Yeah. Well, remember. Well, well, the thing is, Jova. Unlike most WWE wrestlers, he was actually a real Olympic wrestler before he joined before he entered sports entertainment, and he uh. actually won a natural gold medal for America. So nice. now, nowadays, Kurt Angle is the general manager. Yeah, but and one of his gimmicks, Joe he was always bragging about he's the only one in in the company with a gold medal, basically. D so did they ever make him a face? They, yes. they, they were, there were there was one point, Jova, where they made him a face, and they literally have. I, I remember the the promo even. It was something where they turned him into a face, and he was talking to the heel that he was gonna fight. And then he goes, and you know what? When we get out there, people are going to be shouting, you suck, but it won't be at me. It's going to be at you. And surprisingly, immediately right after that, the crowd genuinely got into that, and they literally started doing that. They literally started pointing at his opponent by saying, you suck. So they turned the <laughs> Kurt Angle sucks meme into uh, Kurt it's Angle's so opponents suck. So I'm guessing that the outfit he's wearing currently is from his face days. Since yeah. it would be kind of this hard is, to imagine is... somebody wearing the American flag as a bad guy. 
Well, well it, but Axie is a gimmick, dude. And, America, Americans being too proud of their country the and thus being a heel. True, it's kind of like, but you get what I mean. Um, it's kind of like the, that kind of uh, over patriotism that uh, that Team America yeah. satirized. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm just talking about American mentality back in that day, though. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it was a really good uh, example of WWE knowing how to incorporate the fan base and the audience into the entertainment. Yeah. Uh, it's a shame that they, 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 re they don't really do that kind of thing anymore. Sadly. Oh, Pedro, you cheat. Oh, so Pedro's the heel here, I'm guessing. Yeah. Well, Pedro's a natural heel. Well, the thing is, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, but uh, is it because he's heel. Just... This was this design of this particular look of his. This was back. He was heel during this point in time. I thought you said this was his face outfit. Well, Pedro, well, Pedro there, is, there is such a thing as a heel on heel. It's rare. True, 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 but it's really rare. And so I guess this is one of those rare moments. Also, are you saying Pedro's a natural heel because he's the star scream of the group, Dwibs? Yes. So basically, you're saying he's gonna try and stab me in the back as leader, but he's only gonna see Bleach Red. Well, Joe, remember, he tried that in the last match, and look what happened. True. And we all know, Starscream can never be happy unless it's at a huge cost. Yeah, whoa. Oh, oh, for a second, I thought Pedro's gonna do the thing in four. How will Kurt Angle get out of this one? One! Two! He doesn't. Wow, Pedro, you made an Olympic gold medalist look like a chump. Dang. Watch out for Damn the quiet straight. ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the professional now. <laughs> the professional Pedro! Yeah. Well, he's a waiter, so I think he prides himself on being a pro. <laughs> Alright, who's next? You know, they should hold a show called Restaurant Wars, where we compare restaurants to restaurants, and then Pedro's restaurant will eventually win. By the way, is isn't there already isn't there already a Gordon Ramsay show that is kind of like that? I don't yeah. know. However, there's a there's pizza. A lot of Gordon Ramsay shows. Although I will say, Portugal <laughs> needs to watch its back about the pizza mats that'd be Italy. Yet. It's just a all right. Now it's my turn. Seriously, yours is such a regal dude. Um, uh, I needed. I needed a better, more grandiose feel. It's okay, he's, this is... Um, he's a bit biased. It's okay, this is literally what we think of when we think of British folk. Plus, this thing suits a heel. Uh, wait, 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 a heel? Hold on, this sounds like a heroic too, not a villain. No, 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 I'm a, no, I'm a, I'm a heel. Yeah, I know, but you said that this suit, that this tune fits a heel, but this sounds like a heroic dude. Also, uh, Apollo's objection themes actually sounds quite grand, so... Yeah, oh, and also yeah. Jova, also Jova, this is a heel gimmick too, thinking they're like God or something. Yeah. So, so, basic, so basically, you're like Taskmaster from Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Heroic it, tune, but he's a villain. Job, oh, hi KFC, or KFC. Right, okay, who's my, who's my opponent? <laughs> Shiroi? To give you an idea, Joe, but there was. Oh. Nope. Sorry. Go on, Pedro. It's the yeah. Undertaker! Oh, really? <laughs> my, my, really? You're gonna fight my favorite uh, wrestler? Oh, anyway, The Undertaker's yeah. your favorite. I thought, I thought yeah. your favorite wrestler was Triple H. Well, no, I never said that. You, you, you said you said that in the last. You said that in 2K17. So, Pedro, why is The Undertaker your favorite, if yeah. I may ask? I don't remember doing that. Well, regardless of that, no, I love the Undertaker. Like, I, I really like his, you know, which is I didn't like that motorcycle face of his. That was stupid. Anyway, oh yeah, when he rode into the place on a motorcycle. Even I remember even remind those days. Me of that that I mean, was so I mean, stupid. I mean, I mean, Stone Cold Steve Austin did that too, but that makes sense considering he's yeah, a it makes sense it and give a shit. But anyway. That's just that, um, Jova, to give you an idea, Triple H, who was a heel uh, most of his career, he literally, uh, at one point in his career, where he literally had a, 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 song, a theme song called King of Kings, where the, the, the very first lyric when he's entering is literally, Behold the King, the King of Kings. Can you think of a more self-indulgent theme song than that? <laughs> Not off the top of my head. Exactly. exactly. Who, who, and hey, who else but Triple H can get Motorhead to do a theme song for him? Wow. <sighs> I miss Motorhead. What happened to Motorhead? Yeah. 
The Remember, we explained, um, it, in, we no. explained it in the last playthrough, Joe, but Lemmy unfortunately passed away. Yeah. Yeah. That's a shame. But hey, mate, you made two, well, actually, no, three awesome theme tunes in regards to Triple H. So, oh, if yeah, I that, may no, ask... Motorhead was so awesome. So, if I may ask, since I see a KFC logo, what was up with the whole KF... You know, the, you know, the thing that looks like the F word in the UK, like, I know that... Wait, you just popped in there, dudes. Uh, the Undertaker... I, I, I use my invisibility magic, but the Undertaker used his powers to, um... <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? You gotta mind your hat. So anyway, yeah. though, um, why is it that at some point the UK or you know Britain in general spelled KFC like the F word? Um, it was during yeah. that time when you had a chicken shortage. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> KFCs oh, yeah. without chicken—that was yeah. Our uh, KFCs ran out of chicken, and it was great. <laughs> so there was a whole what's, meme. A, what's a KFC without chicken? I what? I don't know, oh, but they that's actually ran out. Of chicken. They the had a countrywide, well, actually, no, a nationwide, apparently, shortage of chicken. The thing is, they didn't even have the excuse, like most supermarkets, of the storm, like, because we had a really heavy snowstorms, but they came after the chicken shortage. So <laughs> if, I ever, if I ever went, I, I, I go to KFC to eat the fried chicken literally every Sunday. If I ever got, if I ever went to the KFC and they told me that, uh, no, sorry, we had that chicken, you don't have any chicken, then what the fuck is the point of this place? You? Like, seriously, 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 that was literally an episode on Boondogs. That's how inane it is. Like, oh, that show is so. Boondocks is incredibly Something. smart. It's incredibly smart in the same way that South Park is. Okay. Um. Oh, there is one thing you guys um might notice in the top right hand corner. Yeah. Most of the matches in this playthrough will have a time limit. Shame I can't be your manager for this one. I could have helped you. Yeah. Basically. Um. One concern I had going into this playthrough myself was a part going on too long, or a match going on too long, so I decided to limit the time the time we have in the match. Understandable. But, uh, and the, the, length, the length of which match depends on the stakes and the scope and scale of the match. This is me facing The Undertaker, oh, I mean, which would be awesome in like the 90s, but at this point The Undertaker's like... Fifth, oh, way over 50 years old. And yet he's still yeah. insanely popular. I mean, how, how, well, recently, the re how, yeah. how re recent, in the most recent WrestleMania that aired just a few days ago at the time of this recording, uh, John Cena was challenging for, was, was challenging The Undertaker for weeks and weeks on Raw, which kind of made him come off as a bit of a baby, but it didn't work. It's so John Cena, Cena <laughs> So Wait, Cena oh, has John Cena been Cena. having a bad trend lately? So Cena went to WrestleMania as just a fan in the crowd, but mm -hmm. um, a few, a couple of matches in, uh, Cena was told by a referee that the Undertaker was here, so he literally had to run all the way to the back backstage and get into his Cena out and get into his you know, ring outfit, and then and then the, and then he, he came out late on that night. The lights darkened. Everyone was waiting anticip anticipation, and then a guy with a guitar came out and trolled everybody. What? <laughs> see, the, see, 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 the thing and is, then, and then, and then, I'm not, not finished yet. And then, Cena beat the guy and was about to roll back to the ring. Um, disappointed, but he didn't get to face the Undertaker. But smog in that, you know, well, he doesn't have to deal with anything anymore. And then the actual Undertaker, and then the Undertaker did come out. Oh, snap. And and then the match happened, and and John Cena, Lost. who remind you, remind you, John Cena was a guy who many people associate with burying careers. Lost to the Undertaker in about three minutes. How old was the Undertaker? Fifty-two around. And how old is John Cena? Forty. See the thing about John Cena, Joe, is that when he first. When he first won the WWE Championship, it was it was basically him taking the title from JBL, who's one of who's one of the one of the most fun to hate heels ever. Oh, so that's uh, why people talk about John Cena like he's some oh, big hero. Sorry, go see on. the thing is, see the thing is, Joe. But at the time, his gimmick of the of the whole, the time is now, and uh, you know the whole, you know, power of righteousness and be good and brush your teeth. You know, basically, you know, good messages for the kids and shit. That was fine because, uh, you know, it, again, this is wrestling always has a character that's like that anyway. Hulk Hogan was also like that back when he back in the day with Andre the Giant and stuff like that. But the thing is, 
when he became the champion the first time, WWE decided to milk the shit out of him and keep him champion for like, I swear, Jova, like most of the time, most of his career is, was spent as champion because WWE would, for some reason, has all such a big bloody fucking art. Oh, and I beat the Undertaker. Oh, and I beat the Undertaker. Is that why and the meme and his name is John Cena became a thing? No, it's, it's Lol, Lol, Lol Cena wins. Yeah, Lol Cena wins because. Even though a lot of people became like he, he basically he overstayed his welcome as champion to the point everybody was to the point where everybody was tired of him except the riders apparently because they refused oh, to so he was allow, essentially a allow anybody stuff. else to be champion. In fact, he, he, only, yeah, really, basically he only really fat, basically yeah. he only really fell out of the championship scene when he when he tore a muscle in his arm. That's right, Joe. But it took a it took an actual real life injury. For, for them to finally be forced to take the championship in from him. Oh, I take it he has a bit of ego problems because of... Oh, no. No, 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 it's not, it's not so much that, Joe, but it's more so that... The, the, it's, it, it, John Cena is a fine person, don't get me wrong. I don't like him as a wrestler because I find his moves to be boring and overall... Here's how the basic match for John Cena goes. He gets pummeled a lot, and then at the end, he just pulls an FU out of nowhere and wins. Oh, That's so he's essentially is. like oh, the oh, underdog oh. who manages to okay, triumph in the you. end. Oh, Paige, if you're, if you're worried about that kind of trope, watch the uh, John Cena versus Brock Lesnar match at SummerSlam 2014. It's kind of like the roles are reversed in that one. Huh. Mm -hmm. So whereas, I'm guessing whereas, that you were cheering on... Whereas, whereas Lesnar, who gets in most of the offense, Cena tries to fight back, but gets pummeled every time, and he lost. So I'm guessing you were celebrating when The Undertaker beat John Cena during that match, Pedro. Uh, yeah, well, no, not just that, but just to finish what I'm saying, don't get me wrong, even though WWE milked him like crap, just Cena himself, the, the person, is actually a pretty nice person. Okay. Uh, so I don't hold any... I don't like him as a wrestler, but he's a fine person as he is. Trying to get he, a career as he, an actor. And he proved himself, even though I don't particularly care for his films, I he did prove himself a capable voice actor in Ferdinand recently, so there's that. Nice. All right. Uh, so, so we shall have we shall find out who our next WDB opponents are in the next part. I believe that will be Jova and Shiroi. Nice. But, all right, it's gonna be uh, me versus Shiroi. No, ah. no, no, no. You're gonna have an opponent and Shiroi's gonna have an opponent. Ah, okay then. And I, I, and hopefully I shall try and uh, get Deji in on that part, since he'll know a bit more about the wrestles. Please. See you then. All right, see ya. See ya. Right, see ya. See ya.